So in this video, we'll check how to unclog the hot end if the filament is not extruding from the extruder. So if you see, if I try to uh, extrude the filament and it keeps on rolling, but something must have been clogged in the hot end. Once this happens, the filament rolls back. If you can see, it has rolled back and this happens a few times. Uh, and after that, you'll get something like this on the screen, uh, which is an error message, right? If this happens, there are two ways to handle this. The first one is if you see there's a pin tool given in the box, take that out, heat the hot end to temperature 150 and try to put this pin from the bottom of the hot end. Do this, it goes, goes all the way up and then you can bring it down. That's the first way to unclog the filament. The second way is to make sure, uh, so the second way is to uh, do the manual way. Remove this screw and the screw which is below it. You have to unscrew this and uh, you have to also unscrew the small parts as well which is uh, which is uh, shown here and take these parts out after that you have to do a manual load of the filament like you like you see push the filament from the top and try to get it at the bottom and you can see if it is able to uh, get into the entrance of the hot end once it does that you can take some help uh, to put it inside that and make sure that the hot end is hot enough to do this and be careful. Once this happens, uh, once it enters the hot end entrance, you can just try to push it more. So anything that is clogged in between this, uh, you could you can actually see it uh, getting pushed out of the hot end itself. You can push from the top, it's hot, so everything would be melted and anything that is clogged would come out uh, from the hot end. As you can see, the stuck filament is out since it was melted. So this is the second way that you can try. You can keep doing this for a minute or two and then you can just pull out the filament that you would you would be pushing from the top. Right, so take that out and once that is done, you can just screw all the parts together again carefully and uh, you can try printing out. Remove your maintenance mode from the printer and try to print something and if there's no clog, it should work perfectly. I hope this helps.